You're watching UNICEF Television. South Sudan's Ministry of Gender, Child and Social Welfare, in collaboration with United Nations Children Fund, UNICEF, on Friday, June 14, 2013, launched the campaign against child marriage as the country prepares to join the rest of the continent in commemorating the International Day of the African Child. Hundreds of children walked through the streets of Juba to commemorate the 23rd anniversary under the theme Eliminating Child Marriage in South Sudan, Our Collective Responsibility. Child marriage in South Sudan continues to affect thousands of young girls, undermining their development prospects and participation in education and other development activities. Addressing the gathering, Janet Michael from the Ministry of Health said South Sudan has already registered a child of 10 years being pregnant. When we subject them to marriages, we kind of make them adults at a younger age. Children should be allowed to grow up as children, to develop physically, mentally, and emotionally, and sexually as well. Dr. Munjur Hussein, the Chief of Health and Nutrition from UNICEF South Sudan, stated that child marriage is one of the indirect causes of maternal mortality in the country. The child marriage should be eliminated for the nation building, for economic prosperity, and to uphold the human dignity and civilization. Ladies and gentlemen, the 2010 South Sudan Household Survey indicates that about 40% of the girls are married when they're still below 15 years. Child marriage is also stated as one of the main reasons why there are very few girls who complete basic primary school. One of the participants, Nancy Moite, a student at St. Thomas Primary School, said that education is a vital tool and stressed the nation would benefit more if they educate girls and eliminate early child marriages. In South Sudan, they should take care of their child and everything that's happening. They should look after them properly, not to leave them behind. Because if you educate a child, it's just like you've educated a nation. Priscilla Joseph, South Sudan's Deputy Minister for Gender, Child and Social Welfare, say that the government of South Sudan promises to ensure a better future for young girls in South Sudan. We are here to tell you that as a ministry, as a government, this government is there to ensure that we have a better future. Yes, you might not see things changing fast, but they are going to change for the better, and we want you to hope. We want you to have faith in us. We want you to have faith in God, that God willing that your life will be better than what it is today. The Day of the African Child was crowned with pomp and glamour at an exciting sports event organized by one of UNICEF's partners, Sports for Hope. Events supported by UNICEF aimed to create awareness on the dangers of child marriage and the need to eliminate it from South Sudan through sports for development. The Day of the African Child celebrates the work that children in South Africa did. They actually speared a movement that later on changed the whole country. So what we are seeing here today is that children can also start a movement that can actually stop child marriage.
UNICEF is committed to supporting the children of South Sudan and will work hand in hand with the government and other stakeholders to advocate against child marriage in a bid to eliminate it from South Sudan. This is Sheila Modi reporting for UNICEF Television.